I just gotta get the cheese, hey, I need me the cheese, then I'm out. What's good traders, it is the one and only Alphamo speaking and I'm back again with another video. If it is your first time on the channel, you're welcome into the channel. Please make sure that you do hit the like button, you do hit the subscribe button and you do turn on notifications. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for the continuous support and continuously showing up into the channel. So on today's video guys, we're going to be live trading. Name of the pair, we're going to be looking at GBP USD. And obviously for the purpose of this video, we're mainly going to be scalping on GBP USD. So right now, let us go into the charts on GBP USD. Obviously, if we start from the four hour time frame or the bigger perspective, we we'll definitely see for ourselves that yes, uh, GBP USD has been bullish. And obviously this low that was previously printed, GBP USD came back to retest it. And now we're obviously looking towards GBP USD further pushing to the upper part of the market. And obviously to take off this current high that we are having for ourselves currently so without wasting time we're just going to jump straight into that 15 minutes time frame because we are scalping right and obviously as we got in here the first thing that we do notice for ourselves is that gbp usd previously left us a low of which now became support as markets came back to obviously tap into it and respect it further push to the upper part of the market so this is it right here and if you can pay attention closely you can see for yourself that we are having an area of demand right into this area so if you switch to a smaller time frame like my five minutes we can definitely see that okay fine now this is it this is our level of demand right there and obviously gbp usd currently tapped into it and obviously further pushed up and did manage to close above currently we are having a candle that's also pushing to the upper part of the market so right now we can consider this one as our breaker structure because right here this is where gbp usd did break structure as it was pushing to the upper part of the market so i best believe that we can obviously do uh, get into this trade take it and obviously look towards gbp usd taking this high and as well put our stops just right below so this is what i'm actually looking at the my risk reward in this trade is going to be one is to one so let us get into our meta trader five and obviously do place these trades on gbp usd all right so i'm gonna have a couple of buys i can say probably four and obviously my obviously my profit target is that i'm obviously looking towards making 2500 right so this is it and we can obviously do take our stops and just put them right there all right so let us zoom out a bit and look the price of our take profit now in this case it's like um, 1.25014 alright 1.25014 let us just come in here 1.25014 so it's just right right around there so now let's just pay attention to detail let us see how markets are going to be playing out of this so it looks like we're gonna hit our 2500 target before we could even get into our take profit target but however for the sake of the risk reward ratio i'm just gonna let it play out until we obviously reach our profit target so this is it from here it's just a waiting game Thing, bro it really looks like gu doesn't want to play out because normally bro if i get this type of setups i definitely know that markets would push towards my favor and i'm just gonna get that back and get out of the trade but it looks like today it's a very slow day so we're just gonna give the markets a breather let it do what it does best and obviously wait for our take profit to be hit so 
So, but don't get it twisted. I don't mainly focus on one is to one. It just depends on the trade, bro. Like, it really does depend on the trade. Sometimes, with the type of setup that I'm going to get, the market will definitely force me to have a wider stop loss than my take profit. Because I definitely know that no matter what happens, at the end of the day, the markets will definitely hit my target. So, with me, it just depends on the setup. I don't have a fixed ratio that I normally focus on on a daily basis. No, but it depends on the trade. Sometimes it's going to be 1 is to 10. Sometimes 1 is to 5, 1 is to 3. It just depends on that type of trade. Am I in it for swinging or am I in it for scalping purposes? And if I'm in it for scalping purposes, and obviously I get a setup that allows me to go for a 1 is to 3 or 1 is to 4, then I'm just going to consider that. More especially if I'm trading the news, then that would normally happen that I'm just going to get that type of trade that would actually allow me to obviously have a 1 is 2. To, that would actually allow me to have a 1 is 2, 3 or 1 is 4, whatever the case might be. So it's not always fixed. It's not always fixed, bro. Like, depends. So, as you, see, as you can see, markets are going back from me being up. 1500 now markets are back and i'm just down uh, 900 it's just the nature of the market it's not always um the glamour it's not always you being in profits before the blue screen most of the time we just start off red but in today's trade it just happened to be on blue before the red so it just happens and i just felt like if i'm gonna do a live trading video it's gonna feel better to all my viewers and all my subscribers because it's not like me back testing the markets but it's just me getting to the markets in real time so just hoping that this will really help a lot of traders out there because trust me bro you don't really feel this while you're back testing you are you can only feel this while you're trading real money real time then that's why you know that now it's actually going down but let's just let it play out and see what happens The truth is, bro, it's now getting real. It's really heartfelt. It's really heartfelt. But it looks like we are going back up. Let's see if GU will have that strength for the pushing to the upper part of the market. And this is why I definitely do not mess up with Mondays, bro. Like, the markets be trash on Mondays but that's no excuse for you not to trade you gotta trade regardless because at some point you really gotta take trading as a as a business bro like for an example for the fact that now you have a store and you know that on tuesdays you, you hardly have customers that doesn't mean that you, you're gonna have to close on tuesdays and open on fridays because fridays that's where the money is at but you definitely do have to open each and every day show up each and every day so that you can obviously see that consistent growth and see how you can obviously get to improve so that's the same thing with trading even though we know that markets are trash on mondays we do continuously show up so that we can improve ourselves and another thing the fact that it's now q4 even makes it worse but we can't stop trading because now it's q4 and Markets are trash on Mondays, but we do have to show up each and every day, man. Because it's the life we chose, apparently. So, this is it. I really hope that this inspires someone out there, man. And someone really gets to see the other side of Forex that a lot of people are not willing to share on the media. Because a lot of people normally show their trades or, show or flash their profits. They don't show the drawdown, but... Here I am, 
live trading so that you guys can see what actually happens behind closed doors so i really hope that this will help bro like i really hope it will help and if should you guys want to see more of these videos do let me know in the comment section but either way even if you say you don't like them i'm continuously going to show up with them because i know that there's someone out there who really who really wants to know what really happens when you place a trade what happens with your trades when you place a trade so i know that this would help them wherever they are and whoever they are so this is it man so i'm gonna be off for a couple of minutes i'm gonna come back with an update pretty much soon yeah bro it's been a couple of minutes and the markets have been consolidating but hopefully we're gonna break above and if we push to the upper part of the market and obviously do hit up and take profit so that we can call it a day it really looks like the markets are failing to break above Well, it looks like we're trying to break above. Let's wait and see if the markets are going to be able to close above or what. And we are currently up 5,400. Uh, that looks good. It really does. Let's see if the market's going to be able to hold and just close above. Because that's what actually matters. If the markets won't be able to reach the take profit with the current candle, at least the current candle has to close bullish and close above that high that it just broke now. Then that would be a proper breakout. But should it now close, but then won't consider that one as a breakout because now that level became validated again. I should start by breaking even. Let me just put it up there. Let me just lock my profits. I just don't want to take no chances, bro. I don't want to take no chances. Now let's see. Because we only put our take profit in just one pair. Of which that means we're going to have to close the other pairs manually. Just give me what I want. We're nearly there. Looks like we're gonna be up. Okay, cool. TP hit. So I'm gonna just close all of these other trades. So that's it for today, man. We did hit our target, and obviously this trade was also sent in my premium signals group. So if you also want to be part of the premium signals group, then just send me a WhatsApp text or do text my admin on telegram the link will be just in my description either to my whatsapp or to my admin on telegram this is how we do it man and if you also want to trade with the broker that i trade with you'll get the link in my description box as well so this is it guys i hope you did enjoy watching the video and i hope you learned something if you did do drop a comment do like the video do hit the subscribe button and do turn on notifications until next time